Hey guys, it's Mark. Today we're talking more about cardboard. So in front of you, I have a box of Magic the Gathering. This is my very first uh, investment in Magic. Uh, this is a sealed box of War of the Spark. And uh, yeah, just recently bought this for 80 bucks from Rudy. Uh, he has a pretty big Magic the Gathering channel. Probably the biggest one actually. So uh, yeah. Yeah, he sells the boxes for 80 for his patrons, and uh, that's a pretty good deal. So, went ahead, took a chance on War of the Spark. This box is about a year old already, which means it's about to go out of print pretty soon. Um, as soon as the whole, you know, thing ends, then uh, we'll find out how much longer it'll be in print once Wizards of the Coast actually opens up again. So, the way boxes usually work is that over time, uh, after the cards have stopped being printed, uh, the, after a year usually, um, the box usually goes up in value. The individual cards in the box usually stay about the same, but uh, the boxes usually go up because Wizards has pretty strict uh, printing. Uh, I don't know if you guys know anything about Pokemon. Uh, they still print really old product. I think, I think they're still printing three or four year old product, which isn't good if you want to buy the boxes and hold them. Aside from that, um, I'm not actually going to be buying any other boxes or cards in the near future. I'm going to be pretty much focusing on crypto and the Roth IRA for right now. But yeah, I wanted to talk about Nita Reno real fast. This guy is pretty cool. He has double kick. Double kick? It's like the best move ever, dude. Fire Red Leaf Green, double kick will destroy Brock. It's just an overall good move. There's a ton of normal types in Fire Red Leaf Green. Uh, it's really cool, and you can evolve them like super early, like level 16. All you need is a Moonstone. So you beat Brock, you go to Mount Moon, get a Moonstone. You already have a fully evolved Pokemon. You're good. You know, so I think the next Pokemon card I want to get is going to be an unlimited PSA 10, uh, shadowed, of course, uh, Nidoking. He is one of the hollows from base set. And I'm really looking forward to actually finishing up the Nido Reno line, Nido King line. Uh, I think it'll be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, see you guys later.